it really concerns most of the Solomon Islanders who, who, who wants to know uh, what actually are the involvement that CCP is doing with the Solomon Island government. We applaud the People's Republic of China for the initiative The Solomon Islands are an archipelago in the South Pacific located nearly 18,000 kilometers northeast of Australia. Agriculture, fisheries and forestry drive the national economy. Guadalcanal, the largest of the Solomon Islands, is famous as a fiercely contested battlefield in World War II and remains a vital strategic point in the Pacific. The Solomon Islands have always maintained close ties with Australia, which provided economic assistance along with the US and Taiwan. In recent years, aid from China has increased. Solomon Islands stands with like-minded Pacific Islanders and is, a, is appalled by Japan's decision to discharge over a million tons of treated nuclear waste water into the, into the ocean. Statements made in step with China. In September 2019, the Solomon Islands severed long-held diplomatic relations with Taiwan and established new ones with China. In 2022, the Solomon Islands signed a security agreement with China and accepted the presence of Chinese police for domestic security enforcement. China's involvement with the Solomon Islands has gone beyond national security. The construction of the 10,000-seat national stadium in Honiara for international sports has been fully financed by Chinese grant in aid. The project was originally to have been funded by Taiwan. I cannot thank you, government, enough, for this is one wonderful day to the people of the whole We got like a lot of thanks, huge of thanks, millions of acknowledgement to Chinese government. When athletics begin in Solomon, we don't have running track. Telecom towers under construction in suburban areas are made by Huawei, China's leading telecom equipment maker. Some 160 are planned along with loans from China. And the signal very good. So the phone, phone signal very good. So later if you build in more and more the tower, so very good for the all, all country. Chinese state-owned company has won orders to upgrade an international port and build a new one. Western countries worry about China establishing a military base in the archipelago nation. Why does China want to improve infrastructure in the Solomons? More about, um... 
this region and might be asking your help. So the area is, is very important. We see that because the rivalries are intensifying between the United States and China in this region. This area is important because it's geopolitical or geostrategic positioning. The Solomon Islands are located at the center of the Pacific Ocean along the sea lane linking the U.S. and Australia. In terms of security, the U.S. wants to retain superiority in the region, while China is eager to expand its sphere of influence from the South China Sea to the Western Pacific. The interests of the two countries are therefore at odds in this region. Well, it's important because it has its naval forces and its maritime forces, which it wants to be able to move freely around this region. It could blockade the uh, United States coming through and getting up to the South China Sea if it had control and military presence within this region. What do people in the Solomon Islands think of the peremptory severing of ties with Taiwan and its usurpation by China? I'm good. I'm good. No decision to Prime Minister. This time looking Taiwan, I'm no, I'm looking no making any difference to me. Time or the Chinese or the cup, I'm looking big difference to country. I'm a little bit worried too, yeah. because I'm meeting him, I'm giving him more burdens, you know, especially me people, you know, because I'm not sure if it's a business or a project or a free one, or buy me where tax people, where I'm working with him, buy me dialogue him, buy maybe tax by him in Christmas for repay, pay back what I want him or what I come to do him. Nearly 80% of residents were negative about Chinese financial aid, according to a survey by a Singaporean research company. Scars of the riots remain. We visited a shop that escaped damage in the rioting. Anyone looking more could have come last side, Stakaman, Cola Tanatong, and be like that winner. Anti-government demonstrations were led by people from the island of Malaita. Malaita has long received aid from Taiwan, and many of its inhabitants remain pro-Taiwan. We talked with one of the demonstration planners. 
We were the ones who went up to Honiara to submit our petition to the Prime Minister to ask him to step down. We planned to do a peaceful uh, demonstration, but it was the attack caused by the police officers that is why the public was frustrated and uh, they collided with the police officers. The people of Malaysia are very frustrated when the government make their own choice to switch over to, to China. But Taiwan has been here with us for a quite a long period of time. The United States, Japanese, eh? Taiwan, each other, New Zealand, Australia, each are long term friends. We always live under their security. We always feel that we live in peace and harmony. Daniel Suidani is the former premier of Malaita province. Standing against Prime Minister Sogavare, Suidani is known for his critical stance on China. He temporarily restricted Chinese companies investing in Malaita. You have freedom to speak uh, about what you think is right. Uh, but at the moment, uh, people are very fearful of speaking aloud because the government might arrest them for issues that if you are very focal about things, uh, you will be watched. Uh, so that is something uh, really changed. We have seen this very huge change in terms of our democracy. So they've been writing letters. They want to see the prime minister about what they want to see so that the prime minister can explain to them. But every time they wrote letter to the PMO or the prime minister's office, they tend to reject them from seeing them. So that caused people to be like, they are impatient about what they want to hear from the government. So that ends up with a riot. So all of these MOUs that has been signed with the Chinese CCP has been, people haven't got access to it. It really concerns most of the Solomon Islanders who, who, who wants to know uh, what actually are the involvement that CCP is doing with the Solomon Island government. We, we all want good things, but we have to be very mindful of how we get these good things for us, how we get involved in having these good things. How I see the people, the influence of China, they believe in material things. They don't believe in values and principles. Yeah. So I decide to believe and stand for democracy. Yeah. Francis Sadi, Guadalcanal Province Premier, on the other hand, is close to the ruling party. There's no justification for criticizing the country's relationship with China, he said. So I think that, 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 is, a, that is a negative discussion that's been going around the country uh, because of uh, the, mostly the negative or propaganda uh, coming from some of the Western medias, painting China as, as, a, you know, that's, you know, as a communist country, and we should not be partner with them. And it's funny because most developed countries in the world are partnering with China. And, and it's, it's funny when smaller countries like Solomon Islands and, and the rest of the Pacific Islands, they, they, they have their relationship with China. And, and they, they, you know, everybody is sort of screaming at us and telling us, no, you, you shouldn't be doing that. What the country needs is development. So whether it's China or US or, or Japan, uh, I think we accept all the, the development that's to come in and I'd like to see more investment, either not only from China, but as well as from other donor partners to spread out around the country. Yeah, this is uh, all the machines. 
Taiwan to provide for farm work here. This one. Now broken. All of them broken. No more spare parts in hunting. Yeah. When Taiwan was here, we request something today. They bring it today. Yeah. So the work process no stop. Yeah. We just continue. Uh, if we uh, submit some requests, about three to four months before, or if not, then no more. Eh? We have nothing. Yeah, and the government uh, not really active to provide whatever farm needs. Yeah, so everything just slow. You see the bushes grow up, everything. Yeah, and even everything goes down like this. Yeah? <laughs> we need to plant many things. Seed. Seed very small, eh? we request. We requested from the government to provide us. Yeah, people are working. But if they didn't provide that, what can I what what can we do? Yeah. I like Taiwan because everything in time and everything in days, procedure, yeah, going good. Thank mm -hmm. you.